Alright, what is up guys, Darshplane here, and today I'm coming at you with a CSGO video, and this time I'm going to be talking about the VAC authentication ban. And this pretty much disconnects you from a CSGO game or any game that uses VAC, so it's not only CSGO, but for me, uh, CSGO was the game that it happened on, you know. I played uh, Dota 2 and, you know, a bit of Team Fortress 2, this never happened, but... I recently got CSGO, you know, got into it, started playing some competitive, and I got a seven day ban or cooldown on competitive. This is extremely annoying. I mean, if you're like me who just got the game, and, or if you guys are a veteran at this game, you know, been playing every day, now you can't play for a week. What do you do now with your life? Yeah, so if this hasn't happened to you, just make sure the setting. I'm going to be showing you in this video is turned on so this will never happen to you. So this normally happens uh, between games like when I'm like 20 minutes in, like one time it happened at the end. It was terrible but I didn't get a ban for that but I did get a 7 day ban later on so it's just terrible. I'm just making this video to show you guys so it never happens to you again. So the first step is you go if you're on windows 8 or if you're on windows 7 you could just search it for windows 8 you just go to search and you type in advance if i can type this in advance advanced system settings so you click that and it should take you to a screen like this that i have right up so all you click is you go to performance, you click settings, you go to data execution prevention, which is DEP for short, and as you know it's turn on for essential Windows programs and services only, and for some reason Windows, um, it detects Steam uh, VAC as not a really essential program. So it mid game sometimes detects it as a virus or something or a security threat and it just shuts it off causing a ban or causing you to disconnect from the game which if you're playing competitive results in a ban. So all you do is turn on for all programs um, or now it's for all programs except the, for those you select so let's say if I select a program that I don't want to have permission you can just select that but that's pretty much it require you to restart your computer and there you guys have it there are some other ways but I tried them all this didn't really help I went to the steams website that they link in the thing it didn't work but this will help and yeah peace